what is up guys welcome back to another episode of no Lift garage i'm gartrell and for those of you that are new to this channel i just want to say like comment and subscribe we got plenty of content that you guys can look at and uh, watch and definitely some more that we got coming up also we have a giveaway coming up at 100 subscribers so you don't want to miss that me and chris have actually got three planned winners and we're going to get some great 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 prizes so don't miss out if you're already subscribed good for you now go watch some more content and also like please and comment on things that you want to see us do in the future and possibly see on the channel um, we might be able to get it done so let us know anyway today let's just get right into it I'm gonna be installing charge pipes in the M4 because we need to run all the boost we got to get the Z out of the way otherwise it's not gonna work so I'll be right back Right, so as always, you know, nothing can get a, ever go as smoothly as planned. I need to stop dropping the keys. Nothing ever goes as smoothly as planned. The Z is kaput. It's dead. So I don't have a jump starter. I think Chris has one, but I have no idea where in this garage it is. We're just gonna have to assume that he doesn't have one and push the Z out of the way. So, you guys get to watch me do that too. And that's always a bitch, so. Excuse my language. That wasn't recording? Oh my god. Wow, all right, well, not doing that again. So, what just happened is, I pushed the Z. That looks pretty good. Ooh, baby. Anyway, had to push the Z, the Z is dead, uh, as I said. So now I'm just gonna back me in. And we'll get started on this quick install. It shouldn't take too long at all. Let's show you what we're installing today. So I picked these up from Burger Motorsports. Um, they, I will link them down in the description below. Uh, pretty much these are all aluminum as opposed to the plastic, which you'll see in just a minute, um, charge pipes. Now the charge pipes on the BMW right now, the stock ones, also are different size. So that allows for turbulence uh, whenever you're building boosts, especially. And turbulence is not good when you need airflow. You need airflow to be as quick and efficient as possible. Turbulence is obviously not good airflow. So with these, if I can get them unwrapped, just show you at least one, they come in wrinkle black. You get two options actually, wrinkle black or polished with the Burger Motorsports logo on it if you want to get a little bit fancy in your engine bay, show people you got the mod, but they also come on the clamps too, I think at least one of the clamps. Um, but pretty much you get a charge pipe like this, you get another smaller one, and you get a J-pipe. Now this goes on the other side of the uh, top uh, air cooler or inner cooler, I guess you could say, um, that leads to the throttle body. I'm not gonna be changing this today because it's a little bit of a, um, a hassle to remove the inner cooler and you know remove this pipe and then put everything back on. These come with a bung on it. So now that it's in focus, you see the bung here. This is for methane injection. So it gives you the option, which is really good. If you ever wanna go methane, which I'm not gonna go, um, you have a bung set up so that you can simply attach methane and it will work perfectly. Um, and that's actually on both pipes as well as the J pipe. And I got this all for $400 again in the description below. Uh, you can see what I'm talking about. Um, so let's get right into it. I've been talking way, way too long. All right, first things first. I'm sorry it's really dark in here. Again, we don't have that that great lighting. I'm looking into getting a bar that runs across the top of the hood so that whenever we have the hood open, we can actually see better what we're doing. Um, so first things first, you wanna get this pulled back. You're gonna have to remove these top screws. I believe they're uh, about a 10 or eight millimeter. Don't quote me on that. Um, and then, Afterwards, we'll lift up this panel, same thing on the other side, remove this rubber piece, or pull it back at least, and then you'll be able to expose the three on this side and three on the other side uh, bolts. I believe they're 13. You're gonna have to remove these 
two bolts, as well as this. Let's see if I can get my light on that. 10 millimeter bolt. All right, and then after that, we can get cracking. Next up, the six 13 millimeter bolts, and two in front and one ten. Now that that's done, now that that's done, now that that's done, just gonna gently remove the uh, carbon fiber strut brace and then we will put it to the side in a safe place. Next up, we're gonna remove the M power engine uh, cover. Now this you just simply pull up on. There's a couple like uh, tabs that you just, that just sit into it. So I'll show you. So like if you see right here, there's like a little push button that you press these into and there's like three of them, two of them, three of them, one, two, three, um, that just hold this on place. So just put this somewhere safe. Next up, we gotta remove the intake. So the intake is held on by um, pretty much just this hose clamp and uh, another rivet, kind of like how the M Performance uh, engine cover has on the bottom that I just showed you. You know what I'm talking about. Um, so uh, after that, we uh, unscrew this one with just a flathead uh, screwdriver, or I think it's like an eight millimeter or even smaller. Um, we'll be able to gently remove um, the intake. I have an extra step because there's a ground blocking the little tab because there's actually a 10 millimeter tab, a 10 millimeter bolt right here. So gotta remove the 10 millimeter bolt. This one as well to remove the ground because it's in the way, you can't pull it out without that. And this uh, flathead screw. Now, it's also recommended that you unplug the mass airflow sensor. Um, I didn't do it when I did my downpipe simply because it was a bitch to even like try and pry open and I really would rather not break the clip that goes to my mass airflow sensor because the car will not work. So if you're confident, just take your time and unplug it. Um, otherwise, you can leave it on and just simply move the uh, box out of the way with the wire still attached. So it's a plastic one, don't lose it. Um, so there's a pipe that goes from this extender pipe to the turbo. Now you don't want anything falling down that pipe. So after you unscrew this, I recommend plugging up that, that, uh, that uh, tube with, uh, or that intake I should say, with a um, microfiber cloth or a glove that fits over it or something like that. Um, just don't drop anything down there because if it falls into your turbo, you're pretty much fucked. Yeah. Very easy. Pipes off, put it to the side so you don't lose it. This pipe goes to your turbo. So you wanna cover that up so while you're taking the actual uh, E10s off of the uh, charge pipes, that you don't drop one down there, or anything down there for that for that matter, because if your magnet cannot reach that down that hole, you're screwed. The E10 that we gotta take out, there's two of them. One is right there, if you can see, hopefully, right behind that pipe that I was telling you about, right there. Right there. And then another one right there. And then the hose clamps on top, and then charge pipes out. And then we can put the new ones in. All right, so we're almost there. So for this one, I actually recommend using a 3 8 with a swivel. And 
and a E10. So a long extension, long extension swivel, E10, and you can get to both of the down of the charge bike with the bolts. Thought I nicked the car. able to, after loosening those, pull the charge pipe right out. Easy peasy, baby. So now what I was saying about the turbulence was you had a thin neck here, a flat and wide neck here, and then a thicker neck at the top. Having the other downpipe, this is not the same one, but having the other downpipe the same thickness and size the whole way through, that's what she said for my office fans. Uh, uh, this will be able to have airflow go to the intake a lot smoother and without breaking. These are very prone to breaking when you're making boosts or popping off. So having these, definitely big upgrade. Okay, so now that we have the charge pipes out, next thing to do, put the new ones in. Very simple. Just reverse the same steps that you just did. So I'm not even gonna record it. Um, it's very simple, very straightforward. Today we're not doing the J pipe, like I said, which is this thing. Oh, hi S2K. Did you see the other video? Go watch Christian's other video that we just uploaded this week. Um, gonna reinstall, well, in install these um, using the hardware and stuff that Burger Motorsports sent over. Again, huge shout out to Burger Motorsports. They sent that out real quickly. I'm just gonna skip to that part and then uh, start the car up and see how it goes. All right, so real quick, I just wanted to share with you guys a little snag I came into. Uh, so if you see this hose clamp here, uh, pretty much it's kind of difficult to get the back down, the back charge pipe in. Um, so what I recommend is putting this one onto the charge pipe first, then dropping it in to attach it with the uh, bolts and then attaching it here with the, or clamping it down here with the hose clamp. For this one, it's different. You can easily see and access the whole part of it at the whole time, but this one's a little bit harder because this is in the way. You can take this off, but I'd rather not. Um, and uh, this line is in the way. So definitely just go ahead and uh, put this one on top of your charge pipe first and then install the charge pipe. And then for this one, it's up to you. You can do it either way. All right, so we are all done. Everything's been put back. Okay, the only thing that I had a real issue with was putting the air box back in. Um, I think that because the original pipes, like I said before, are flat on one portion here and on especially on the long one here, they sit differently in the engine bay. So, uh, this does this top piece has like a little piece that comes like that snaps on so it secures it down these two are the only ones that could get it on so I think that's because of the thickness of them and the thickness of the pipe also doesn't allow this flex piece to really move so that you can set the in the, the intake box all right, guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And before I go, I do want to say rest in peace to Kobe Bryant and all the other people who passed away on uh, that terrible, terrible uh, helicopter crash. Um, on a side note, don't forget to tell your loved ones that you love them because you never know when the last day is going to be the last day. Um, especially, you know, in a hobby like this. Um, I actually had a friend who passed away. Uh, his name was Justin. Um, he was a real good person. Always wanted to help out people. He's actually one of the people who inspired me to want to, you know, just start YouTube and do the things that you know you love and want to do because that's what he did. Um, so now I try to live like Justin. Uh, but uh, anyway, thank you guys. Have a great one and see you in the next one. Peace out. Uh, thumbnail? Derp. Derp. Back up some.
Nika. Derp. Maybe like. Derp. 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 